Thanks, everybody, to Alvin. Alvin! <laughs> Many of you know Alvin. He's been coming around for a while. Uh, he was met by uh, our brother Calder. Actually, they came out for the first time at the same time, and uh, uh, I'm just so proud of him. Uh, Alvin and I have developed a great friendship uh, uh, as he studied the Bible here, and I uh, thought of a scripture in Mark chapter 5 um, that reminds me of you, Alvin, and uh, it's uh, where Jesus confronts a demon-possessed man, mm. and uh, you know, it goes to the story, and it talks about, uh, you know, how Jesus uh, approaches this man, and... and um, uh, you know, there's a, a, a spirit in the man, and, and Jesus says, what, what is your name? And he says, our name is Legion, because we are many. <laughs> you know, and, and uh, you know, it's funny, because studying the Bible with you, um, you know, there, uh, as, as, as uh, we got in there, as Frank got in there and really gave you some challenges, uh, the, the demons that we all have inside of us sort of raise their head and rear their head, right? And... and uh, and you battled, and you fought. And uh, I love the scripture uh, in verse 14, where it says, Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this to the town and countryside, and the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons, sitting there, dressed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Yeah, and we know from the Bible that this man went off, and he preached to ten cities after that. But uh, there was a specific turning point for you uh, where you got together with Frank and Calder and, and uh, you know, they were able to do a little more surgery on your heart. And then the next time that, that we got with you, you were a completely different person. Uh, you, you were sitting there dressed in your right mind, uh, spiritually humble, ready to take any challenges from the scriptures. And bro, I'm so proud of you for really wrestling, uh, for, for taking the challenges and continuing to fight through the tougher times. And so I'm proud to, to call you my friend. I'm even more proud now to be able to call you my brother. And, and to see all the different things that God's going to do through your life. To see uh, how he's going to lead you to 10 cities to preach the word for him. I love you, man. Come on. Brother. Come on, baby. What a beautiful day. I get to be up here twice. Yeah. Look at all you beautiful people. And, and bring another beautiful person into the family, right? Um, I just want to read this. This is from the, uh, the book of Isaiah. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and they will not faint. So uh, the first time I was going to Bible study, I was really nervous. And uh, as some of you may or may not know, uh, I used to work at the YMCA. And, and part of my transition of uh, you know joining the church, I was going through some real struggles. Uh, I had done so much great work at the YMCA. And uh, it, it was time, though, for me to move on to something new. And uh, as I was dealing with all of this anxiety, and, I, and I've mentioned this previously of, you know, was this the right decision? Um, what, what do I need to do? I had, I had a lot of great counsel from people like Alvin, who coincidentally is wearing a YMCA volunteer <laughs> shirt. Um, because, uh, you know, in our Saturday morning basketball league that I ran for the little kids, Alvin was a devout volunteer. Um, he showed, uh, as we talked about, your conscience is sort of your own, your moral compass. He showed that he had so much great in him. Uh, and, it, and as we started going to Bible study, and I was very confused, and I was so much a young Christian, Alvin really talked to me. He spoke to my heart um, about scripture and about, you know, the meaning of the word. And it was really a wonderful experience because as I grew my faith, I saw Alvin not struggling with his faith, but, you know, like any great man, questioning things. And uh, I, as Joe alluded to, the, we, had a, we had a real great talk last week. And uh, after, uh, after uh, Alvin and I had, I dropped him off at his house, I felt like an exhaustion like I had never felt before. <laughs> and I realized that, you know, I had 
experienced physical and mental exhaustion, but I'd never experienced exhaustion of the spirit in me. And it really was the spirit working through me to connect with Alvin. And it was almost like we had come full circle. It was a beautiful thing because he had inspired so much in me. And then I felt like I could give back to him through Jesus, um, you know, that, that same faith um, and that same conviction. And so it's it's been an amazing place, um, you know, an amazing group of people to be a part of. And I'm just so excited for Alvin to officially join that group and, and not only be my, bro my, my brother in name, but my brother in spirit. So thank you, Alvin. I love you, bro. Uh, first, I want to say thank you guys for coming out, and I just want to just uh, go into a short prayer. So, Father God, um, I just want to thank you, God, for you know providing strength to us, there, God. You know, guiding us, there, God. Guiding me and Ryan, there, God. Guiding all the fellow brothers, there, God, because it's been a tough journey, Father. You know, and I just want to thank you, there, God, for sacrificing your Sunday, God, for giving us grace, there, God. Amen. 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 So, I want to um just uh. So like we talk about kings and lions and I at one point wanted to be my own king of my life. And it's really funny because at one point I felt like I was truly a man of God. And as I look into, if you guys wanna look into it, it's um, First Kings. And it talks about a man of God that came down from Judah and he went to Bethel. And he was going and he went to an altar and he told everyone in there that the altar is going to split and also Josiah was gonna be born into the house of David. So when King Jeroboam heard about what happened, he quickly came and then he told the guards to seize him. As soon as he pointed out, his hand started to shrivel up. And then what happened, Jeroboam begged and pleaded to the man of God and said to him, please ask God to forgive me for what I've done. So then the man of God quickly, he prayed to God and Jeroboam's hand was restored. And Jeroboam proceeded to offer the man of God to come to his house to feast with him. But he said, I can't. God has told me that I cannot. I must continue going on the way I, I go on to the way that I didn't come before. Mm -hmm. So he again, the man of God said to Jeroboam, even if you offer me half of your possessions, I will not go. So he left and then an old prophet in the city heard about what was happening and he asked his son, where did the man of God go? So then they told him he went um, onward. So then the old prophet went after him and then he quickly found the man of God. And I think what happened was he became fatigued like I did when I stopped committing to God. He became fatigued and he stopped and he rested under an oak tree. And then when the old prophet found him, he said, God has sent me for you to come to my home and to eat with me. And then he was lying to him when he said that. And the man of God, before he even said to come to his house, said, I cannot go to your house and sit with, eat with you. So he was so dedicated to his faith. But then the old prophet, because I thought about it, it was actually a test from God, testing the man of God once more to see if his faith was convicted. And then, unfortunately for the man of God, he fell for the false, he fell for the test, he failed the test, I should say. And he went to the tent and they ate. And then the next morning, the, the prophet said to him, God has come to me and said, you have deceived his word. And so he sent, all the, sent the man of God onwards and Unfortunately for him, when he came to a road, he was mauled by a lion. So, when talked about lions, I, I am truly grateful because I don't want to be mauled by a lion. Amen. So, <laughs> I know no one wants to be mauled by a lion, but honestly, I feel truly blessed for Carla, you know, to invite me out. Because I, when he said that, I was like, of course I'll go. <laughs> and it's just like God calling me again. And then, you know, I wrestled with my demons. I wrestled with Joe wrestled with Frank and Mike, and then after a while, when me and Calder and, and, and Frank, we, when we have a lunch, I just, you know, Frank shared a wonderful story, you know, it was oh. tough for him. And to see, speaking of men of God, he shared a story about his father, and it really touched me, to be honest, and, and I just went home and I, you know, I just reflected, I pulled myself back and saying, is this really what you want to do right now? You really want to continue fighting and letting the devil overcome you? I said to myself, no. And then, you know, I called Frank and I said, Frank, I'm sorry for, you know, the struggles and, and everything. And uh, God, you know, really has, like, spoken to me through you. And I'm ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> um, you know, every baptism is so special. And uh, Alvin, I'm just so inspired by you, your heart, your convictions, you know, when you could have given up, you know, you kept coming. And, uh, you know, God is always reaching out to all of us. Mm. Uh, he's, uh, Alvin started with Peter a year and a half ago. Wow. And uh, you weren't ready then, mm. you know. And yet God kept reaching and knocking on your heart. And uh, today, just to hear your confession already, uh, that you're ready, uh, just excites all of us. Mm. And that's the spirit that we got to have for the rest of our lives. I'm ready to do your will, oh, Father. Amen. So, Alvin, before you can get <laughs> baptized, I have two very, very important questions. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died for your sins, and that he re resurrected on the third day? Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True, no man. Yeah, man. Uh, because of your good... Well, the second question is, <laughs> what is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. Amen! <laughs> Because of your good confession, uh, you can now be baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit so that all of your sins may be wiped away and you'll be added to God's kingdom and added to the book of life. God bless. It's okay. Okay, count of three. One, two, three. Got him. Got him.